Welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 A Game of Thrones. Now, today, I need to start off by pinning Viserys because <laughs> I keep on forgetting he's a thing. Um, which kind of sucks. I, I really, I, in hindsight, I really should have given him the Iron Islands. Uh, but alas, uh, I forgot he was my brother uh, and it, it just didn't turn out that, that way. We'll see if the Tullys can bring the Iron Islands under control though. Let's go ahead uh, and pin Viserys just so we don't make the same mistake again. And I think if we do acquire some more uh, territory uh, in one way or another, I think I will go ahead and give it to my brother here. Because, let's face it, I mean, even though his stats are, are lacking here, he did manage to become a knight. So, he's proven himself somewhat. So, I, I, I think I'm willing to give him uh, the benefit of the doubt and give him a chance here. Now, what, another thing I want to do is just have a little check up on how everyone's doing. So, restarting the reach. One thing I noticed, I was just clicking around before starting recording. The high towers are not in good shape. They've currently got the great pox. Plagued by sores and inflammation, Leighton suffers from the venereal uh, plague. Now, as does his wife. I'm not about sure about his heir. I don't think so. I think he's in a, a different location, right? Yeah, he's in a different location, so he's safe. Uh, but the high tower's not looking so good here. As for the, the Tyrells, they seem to be doing strong. Good old Willis here, uh, only 20 years old, already scarred, um, but he's doing very well. 39,000 manpower behind him. I would expect nothing less. How are, how are Dawn doing? I think Dawn are doing very fine as well. Uh, again, quite strong here. Uh, their succession uh, is looking very safe. And I think Stannis and his succession is also looking somewhat safe as well. Now, someone who's not looking so good. If we go to the Vale, <laughs> the Arryns... Well, the line of the Arryns ends here because their heir is actually of House Wainwood. So we could see... The Arryns get wiped out in this episode or the next one. We'll have to see how that progresses. Uh, but that's quite interesting there. And then, of course, the Riverlands, they do have control over the Iron Islands now. So they're going to be trying to bring that under the Faith of the Seven. We'll have to see if they're very successful uh, with that. Is this Lord Went? Lord Went still controls, or House Went, I should say, still controls Harren Hall. So that's all looking good. And I think the Freys are still up here as well. Oh, Walder Frey passed away. How, how did he die? He died of old age at the age of 83. There we go. Leaving behind 29 children. You would expect nothing less of the man, of course. But the, the phrase lineage, definitely looking safe uh, with that many children. Uh, I think there would be have to be uh, a huge massacre to affect that. How are the, the Starks doing? So Lady Pala here has been betrothed, but still... Uh, if she dies, I mean, the, the house is still safe. We've got Lud Stark here who would take control. Uh, so that's all looking fine there. What about House Forester? I'm intrigued to see how they're doing. They're up here. They're still fighting. Wait, they're allied with the White Hills. That's interesting. <laughs> you, you, you wouldn't expect that, would you? And then, of course, we go up to the Wall. The Wall's still standing, as you'd expect, and, uh, and the Northern Clans here. North of the Wall of Wildling Clans are still very fractured. But let's jump in uh, and unpause the game here. We've got some stuff going on as well. We're trying to improve our control. Uh, let's go ahead and train good old Aegon as well. I think we're going to train him in uh, swordsmanship. Uh, try and improve his personal combat abilities today. Another excellent training session. Very nice. I think I'm also going to pump some money into the Red Keep. Which we can actually do now. So if we upgrade the crop fields maybe. That should increase our taxes a little bit. So let's go ahead and do that. I want to upgrade uh, the red keep as much as I can. And I think I will keep Dragonstone for myself. What's this? A pallid, in a pallid individual who looks as if she has spent her entire life skulking underground is lurking in a corner of my throne room. I've heard tell you might want a secret passage installed. I can craft any impure corridor your twisted heart desires. I can even add an oblet to your bedroom for your lover to throw you into in the heat of passion. Oh, wow. What does this give us? Uh, we gain a treat, trait to deviant. We don't have the gold uh, to spare, though. I shall enter and leave rooms only by the front door, wench. Get her out of my court. <laughs> You're wasting the king's time. And there we go. My first son, Aegon. Finally has come of age. 
sufficient tutelage, even a child that has displayed little natural inclination towards warfare, such as Aegon, can come to truly understand it. He has shown great aptitude both in battle tactics. Since the time of Aenus I, Dragonstone has been the seat of the heir of the Iron Throne. Now that Aegon is of an age to manage Dragonstone on his own, it is time for me to either grant him the title of Prince of Dragonstone in recognition of his position in the realm or to hold on to the title for myself uh, for future uses. So this was our plan anyway to give Dragonstone to Aegon. So this is very nice. The tradition must be upheld. I shall grant Aegon Dragonstone. So he gets the Lordship of Dragonstone and its vassals. Uh, and he will become my vassal, of course. Yes, let's uphold the traditions. Let's just quickly pause. We get an alliance with him as well, which is nice to see. And if we look at him himself, uh, he's got some nice stats. He, he's very good at diplomacy. His martial uh, is good. He's also got okay stewardship and learning. And 18 prowess at the age of 16 is not too shabby at all, is it? If we look at his traits, he's a, a skilled tactician, unyielding defender. He's handsome and quick. Uh, a squire, of course, and a skilled fighter. That's not looking too shabby at all. I'm very happy with uh, Prince Aegon here. We can also knight him if we wanted to. So we gain some opinion of him. Uh, we gain some piety. And Aegon gets a lot of piety, a lot of prestige. And he also gains knight as a tree. Let's go ahead and offer knighthood to my first son here. There we go. United Prince Aegon of Dragonstone. We'll see if we get a little pop-up there. Betrothed can marry. Let's go ahead and marry Aegon off to his sister then. Uh, they will accept that. And look at that. They both get a, a lot of prestige as well. Because they're marrying into the Targaryen dynasty. <laughs> uh, greetings, my implacable liege. I gladly accept your marriage proposal. I will graciously take the hand of your daughter Rhaenys in holy matrimony. May the seven who are one grant us long life and many children. Excellent. There we go. Uh, we also have an empty council position. Now, Aegon did have okay diplomacy. So I think I'm going to put him on, uh, put him as my chancellor. Where is he? Uh, he's going to be down here somewhere, isn't he? We have a lot of people good at diplomacy. There he is. Let's go ahead and assign my son uh, to the master of law position then. That's all looking fine. We need a new admiral. Oh, Tywin. Ah, Tywin, you're my master of coin. What about... You're already on my council. Any more powerful vassals? What about Willis of the Reach? He is a powerful vassal and he's a little bit angry because he's not on my council. Let's go ahead and make him my admiral then. And that should keep him in line as well. Just to prevent any revolts from occurring there. I think life is good. So we go ahead and uh, look at Aegon. Hopefully he has many children uh, and uh, the lineage will be secure. My relative, Prince Aegon of Dragonstone, has been made a knight. He has made House Targaryen very proud. Good for him. There we go. <laughs> I know that. I knighted him. Uh, we've also gained a level of devotion. So we're now a devoted servant to the Seven. How true that is, I'm not quite sure because we did marry our children off to one another. And I'm pretty sure the seven don't look kindly upon such uh, transactions. My agents have prepared for weeks. The cook has been bribed to look the other way. The poison has been acquired and the duck was gifted to John alone. It would be rubbed with the poison and the bed of herbs will mask the smell as it is served. The deadly bitterness will be the last thing my target ever tastes. So we weren't able to send him to the wall, were we? Oh no, we were. So he went to the wall anyway. Maybe someone else did. My, my memory's fading. <laughs> uh, of course, he rebelled against us twice. And so uh, I've decided to try and settle this grudge myself. Bon appetit, John. Maybe we can uh, kill him here. The bird became the last thing John ever ate. I remember when John Faring declared war on me. Justice comes for all. Even better. In his death throes, a bone got stuck in John's throat. Now it is unclear exactly what killed him at all. It must have been something he ate. <laughs> there we go. We managed to kill him there. And I feel like justice has been served. We've got our vengeance, at least anyway. My king huffs rants as he marches up to me, hauling my daughter Vesenya by her ear. This dratted child has been lying in wait around corners, wearing a wolf skin for a costume, only to jump out screaming and scaring the living daylights out of people. Um... <laughs> This is honestly just bloody hilarious. You harassed my daughter, you exiled. <laughs> um, 
Uh, I think it's just hilarious. Uh, yeah, leave my daughter alone. Uh, you know, it's... She's a, she's a daughter of the, the King of the Seven Kingdoms. She can do as she wants. If she wants to dress as a wolf and scare people, then she shall. What would you rather, her dress as a dragon? <laughs> uh, my courtier, Yasilla, has given birth to a daughter. Ah, my brother has had his first child. A daughter. Let's see, a, a good high Valyrian name here. Elena. I think Elena is nice. She's also quick and comely. Ah, that's not too shabby at all, is it? May you grow strong and wise. Indeed, we could even educate you as well, actually. What I'm going to do is let's pin you first, though. I mean, actually, you're going to be very good at diplomacy no matter what. It's fine, I'm going to pin you. I have a lot of pinned characters here. What I can do is let's unpin uh, Rainus now because she's of age. We don't need to worry about her so much. I will keep Aegon pinned just because he is my first son and my heir. Uh, so that's all looking good there. Do I have any spare children? I don't think I do, do I? Oh, I do. Prince Raider here. However, I don't have any spare sons, is what I mean. Oh, what what, what have I pressed here? I, I pressed something. Yeah, you're betrothed. These are all betrothed. I do have a daughter, Princess Raider. However, I can't marry her off to Elena, can I? <laughs> Hmm, who should we marry Princess Rayla off to? Should we wait? Let's wait just a little bit. I mean, we could marry her off for an alliance, but again, I quite like that we're going with Targaryen tradition here. So I might marry her off to maybe one of my brother's sons or something like this. Uh, we'll have to see which children me and my brother have in the future uh, before we make a decision such as this. Learning perk available. What have we got here then? We can get healthy, a medium health boost. Let's go ahead and unlock that. Uh, things are looking fine here. How old are we? We're 39 and our health is uh, very good there. So it doesn't look like we're going to die any time soon, at least of natural causes. It has come to your attention that your Kingsguard, Christopher, has become the talk of the realm. The small, uh, the small folk speak of him in the same breath of warriors of legend. Young squires in play don his effect and reenact his exploits in his greatest battles. A mage dream of granting the favour to a knight of his repute. Now this talk has gripped your court, the knights of the court seek to emulate his deeds and the women of the court compete for his attention. It is a commonality now that across the southern kingdoms the name of Tristopher is synonymous with skill, honour and gallantry. Okay, uh, I commend you Tristopher. He gains a level of fame and he gains gallant, very nice. You're going to become uh, one of my better king's guard, that's for sure. Look at the, the um, amount of traits he has, very nice. My king's guard is looking strong. What's this? Wildling raids? Lord Commander Jantos has won against High Chieftain Brog of Keening Ridges in the Wildling Raid. Ah, so it uh, uh, looks like the Wall and the Night's Watch uh, are doing their job very well. We've also managed to sway uh, Willis here. Do we need to sway anyone else on our council? I think maybe our High Septum, we could do a swaying him a little bit. Why not? Let's go ahead and sway him. Let's get him uh, very much on our side. Everyone else loves us, though. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very peaceful time, other than the little fight with the Iron Islands. And it looks like the Night's Watch has a few more Wildling Raids as well. And uh, they've won that one once again, too. To the implacable Rhaegar, I have studied the, Valy the Valyrian language for many moons. I personally penned this missive using the Valyrian script. A letter of friendship from a speaker of common tongue. I wish for our future diplomatic dealings to benefit us both greatly. Uh, she has learned Valyrian impressive. Send my regards. Yeah, that is very impressive, actually. Uh, she's definitely trying to make an effort here, so that's uh, nice to see. Exiting the Sept in Dawn Kiss, me and my friend Lord Jonlon end up in the company of some local merchants. We are in the middle of a discussion regarding theology and worldly wealth. I would invest in the Sept, but how can I know if, it, uh, if that is even the Smith's will? Huh. I know somewhere your gold would come. Yes, I'll take your gold. <laughs> My child John has recently become an age in which he is able to be squired. Perhaps I could command a member of my King's Guard to squire him. I believe Miles would be good candidate. Yes, Miles Mutant, my friend, of course. I will let you uh, teach my son John Targaryen here the way of the knight. Uh, 
I'm not going to have any squares anymore because we saw how often the pop-up happens. <laughs> I think I'm over all of that clicking. Uh, so I do agree to that. There you go, John. You're going to have... Uh, you're going to go squire for Miles Mouton. That should be fun for you. I uh, just realized Rayla's now three years old as well. So we can see her uh, childhood trait. She's curious. So diplomacy and learning. You're very good at both, honestly. I think we're going to go with... Let's go with diplomacy. And then if I go ahead and try and educate you. We want someone who's very good at diplomacy and learning. Well, I think I'm the best here. Uh, so I'm going to educate you, my daughter. There we go. You're going to have a very fine education. I can promise you that. Your Hogan Master Ormond will soon expire. Oh, he's a lowborn, though. It's a shame we can't really do much with that. Otherwise, I would love to change his contract or something like this. We could hold... A grand tournament. We have the money to spare. Should we do it? I don't think we've held one of these before. Let us hold a tournament of such grandeur as to be remembered for centuries. It's going to cost 300 gold, but we gain a lot of prestige. I think we should do it. Let's go ahead and begin the preparations. Let us hold a tournament of such grandeur as to be remembered for centuries. Have the maester send ravens with an invitation for every likely warrior. Um, I will watch every joust. Yes, I want to see the finest knights of the realm come together and we're going to have a nice tournament to celebrate uh, the peaceful times since I've taken over. The lords and champions of the realm have arrived ready to test their metal in the lists. A hundred shields, hang on. A hundred pavilions, the heraldry of houses great and small on proud display. Any warrior with a lance and a horse may enter, but only the most skilled will advance to the later joust. Let us begin! I wonder if Aegon, my son, would enter. Oh, that could be interesting. Maybe he can make a, a, a scene for himself. We've gained cancer? Oh no. There is a thing inside me which is not me. It eats its way through my flesh, feeding of my life force. Its strength increasing while I wither away. I push my hands against the growth under my skin, my fingers aching to tear it out. The thought of it growing makes me want to puke. Yes, unfortunately, it is cancer. I only know of one efficient treatment. This is terrible. I mean, we're still feeling fine, though. <laughs> That's how healthy we are. It's too late for caution. I mean... I, I, I don't want to die this early. I think we have to take a risk. It's too late for caution. We gained a trait one-eyed. Rhaegar the one-eyed. Oh, that sounds cool, doesn't it? Uh, Eric's assistant assured him that uh, the potion had put me to sleep. Oh, how wrong he was. I could neither speak nor move, yet I was still aware of everything they did to me. I tried to scream and thrash, but I was a prisoner in my own body. The procedure seemed to last forever. The treatment was almost as unpleasant as my symptoms, yet it seems to have been effective. While I am not fully cured, I feel much better. I will live to see another day. We're one-legged and one-eyed. Greatly reduced... I mean, we have a massive boost to our health. I will live to see another day, but... Oh, wow. We're, we're one-eyed. We're, we're one-legged. We have cancer. <laughs> but our health is good, it says. <laughs> Uh, I love Game of Thrones sometimes. I don't think... Is there any way... Am I... Okay, I'm not one-legged. I'm one-eyed. Interesting. So we still have both legs. That's good. Uh, maybe the icons just got a bit confused. Anyway, we have a tournament to get to. Rhaegar, the one-eyed here, uh, is looking very badass, isn't he? Look at that. Oh, that does look impressive. In fact, I think that's going to be the thumbnail for today. Uh, let me just take a second to get a, a, a clip of that before we lose our scars and whatnot there we go now we can resume to the tournament hopefully we see the first round of fighting soon but preliminary rounds have ended and many brave competitors are left licking their wounds and nursing their bruised pride those who remain in contention ready themselves for the final rounds the tourney grounds are abuzz with anticipation as spectators lay their wages and competitors make their both. We don't have enough gold to bet, but maybe by the time we reach the final, we will have enough gold to, to do some gambling. Who's this? Lord Morgan of House, your House of Warwick, and we also have House of Weller here. Lord Morgan and Lord George enter the lists and ready themselves for the next tilt. Their mounts pour at the ground, eager to charge. Who do we think's going to win? Oh, we'll have to see. And it looks like House Weller uh, have won. The first battle there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to skip through until maybe 
we find someone like a big character possibly entering this tournament. Speaking of interesting characters, the man himself, Tywin Lannister, has decided to enter my tournament. Oh boy. Oh, who do? Is he gonna lose to uh, Lord Ammon here of Harp's Tune? We'll have to see. May the Bella Warrior win. You'd think Tywin. Tywin lost? <laughs> From my seat of high honor, I watched Lord Ammon triumph over Lord Tywin. The victor will advance to the next round. It was a thrilling tilt. That's embarrassing for Tywin himself. Oh, look at that. We also have um, Lord Robert here. Uh, of course, uh, Sandor's and Gregor's father. I think he's going to win this, surely. Surely he has to. May the better warrior win. He's lost. This tournament is crazy. A commoner of Crownlander heritage has been accosted in the streets of the Red Keep over some minor offence. By making a statement in their defence, I could perhaps convince my High Septum rants that equally Crownlander are my good character, but I might risk alienating my High Valyrian peers. The Crownlanders are good people. Yes, I, I think they are good people. Let's get back to the tournament, though. I want to watch some fighting. And there we go. The tournament is over. Other than... Tywin and uh, Clegane's father, there wasn't too many uh, big characters in there. However, Lord Merwin, the foolish of Starsfield, is uh, our victor today. The final joust is contested and the stands erupt in Russia's cheers at its conclusions, with Lord Merwin emerging the victor. Truly a tournament for the ages. There we go, we're getting some nice prestige there. And we, we threw on some entertainment for everyone. I'm on my way through my courtroom when a scuffle at its far end draws my attention. A strapping man is being advanced upon by my guards, only for their weapons to clatter to the floor in the blink of an eye. The stranger flourishes his sword in salute towards me. My lord, he begins as I wave away more guards. I find myself without a leech to serve and judging from your protection here, you could do with my help. From the red robes he mantles himself, I deduce he is a follower of the Lord of Light. Those who follow the teachings of the red priests and the ancient legends of Ashai, Venerate flame, shadow, and sacrifice, seeking to purge those who do not accept Rawls' light. Until the time comes when Azor High shall be born again amidst spoken salt to wake the dragons out of stone. Maybe we want him. He is 33 prowess. A formidable fighter. Uh, he is an order member, of course. Do we want to align ourselves with the fate of Rulor? I have no idea how to pronounce that. <laughs> For a man of your talents, absolutely. We gain a little bit of stress, but not because of any traits. I would rather my knights be worshippers of the Seven. I mean, the Seven don't really like us anyway, so I don't think we... Maybe we do this. He joins my court. I can't give him a spot on my king's guard, but maybe I have another position for you. For a man of your talents, absolutely. Join my court, and we're going to see if I have any positions for you. Now, all of these are taken. Uh, captain of the household guard, maybe. Can I make you... Let's see. Is there anything like a, a bodyguard? I mean, that's the king's guard, right? So, yeah, it would be the king's guard. Maybe I make him captain of the household guard. We get some court grandeur, dread gain and dread decay. Reduces your risk to die or to be captured in battles you're both fighting in. Let's go ahead. I think it was you, Oppo Haritis. Uh, you're excellent at this as well. So I'm going to appoint you as captain of the household guard. There's no place on the King's Guard, but uh, I can give you this. Powerful agent in hostile schemes against us. Hopefully, uh, he doesn't do any plotting. Otherwise, I'll kill him myself. What's this? We have something happening in our court here. Why would you honor that cur Oppo with a position at court and not me? My King's Guard Theo is livid. Apparently, he'd been certain that the honor would befall him and no one else. You're on the King's Guard. What are you talking about? Come off it. Loser's opinion of me. How, you, you're on the king's guard. There's no no higher honor. This guy's insane. We could invite some knights if we wanted to. How are our knights doing? I imagine. I mean, we have very good knights because uh, we're the king of the seven kingdoms. So we don't really have to do anything like this. Oh, there's mercenaries now. That's nice to see. There were no mercenaries when we first started uh, this playthrough, of course. We can work off some stress. Let's go ahead and do that. 
because we are looking a little bit stressed here. While Cobbler's Square is usually the domain of busy craftsmen, sometimes it finds itself subject to those who fervently worship the Seven. This is due in part to the square residing east of the Gates of God, and also as a result of long-standing traditions amongst the preachers of the faith. It's hardly uncommon to find a septon taking the turn to preach to those who will listen, and today is no different. I don't have time for this. <laughs> yeah, I don't have time for that. Uh, this is not enough, I think, to myself. As I put down a training hammer, I've been practicing non-stop, but I'm not getting tired. I need a tougher challenge. Yeah, something bigger, or perhaps ever heavier. Something sure to tire me out. I don't think I'm going to use my child. Last time we did that, uh, bad things happened. Okay. So we could... Oh, that's a lot of gold. Liara, right, get over here. I'm not going to learn my lesson, are we? The extra challenge invigorates you. We gained good exercise for one year. And we lost a lot of stress. There we go. A medium health boost. Uh, and we gained some prowess as well. General opinion has suffered. Apparently, using your chi children as weights is uh, frowned upon in the Game of Thrones universe. But, nah, it's fine. Uh, one day, we'll have a dragon to put them right. Oh, imagine if they added dragons. That would be amazing. I think there is a mod for this. But I would love it to be in the, in the base. Uh, in the base mod, of course. Learning perk available. Let's go ahead and pick whole of body then. What does that give us? Fertility, health boost, and stress gain. Very nice. Oh, and our wife is pregnant. Liana is pregnant once more. And we also finished... Let's go ahead and pause a minute. The game's going ahead. Uh, we finished building hamlets in, in the red keep. So let's go ahead and build something else here. Control is slowly improving as well, which is good to see. We could... Oh, let's upgrade the trade port because that gives our development growth and whatnot. So let's go ahead and do this. Are we increasing development here? We're not. Oh, we're promoting culture. You guys told me to check on this, didn't you? It will complete in 21 years. So what are we converting it to? Where's, where's the culture map? We're on it. So currently we are Crownlander, but we're trying to convert the, the Red Keep to... Westerosi Valerian. I see. It would take 21 years. Right? Yeah, 21 years. It says down there. I mean, we could do that. We're not Westerosi Valerian, though. We're High Valerian. So, is there any point in this? Probably not. We're probably always going to struggle with... Yeah, look at this. County is not of your culture. So... Does that affect this? I don't think it matters too much, actually. It just It's just popular opinion minus five. Um, it's not that bad because we can speak the common tongue. And we have a hundred popular opinion. So actually I'm thinking against converting to Westerosi Valerian. There's, I don't see the benefit in that. Maybe what's better is we actually do something such as increased development in the Red Keep. Because eventually that would give us more money. So if we look at this. Yeah, that's going to take 11 months. If we can pump up the, uh, the development here. Because we have 21 development. But I would like more. So let's go ahead and do that instead. Uh, one of you guys actually pointed that one out. So thank you for that. We have a well-organized court. Every courtier gained 10 opinion of us. Uh, thanks to Liana. Very nice. And we have managed to sway our septon as well. Is there anyone else that needs swaying? Not right here. Okay, so we go ahead and look at vassals. Is there any really powerful vassals at the top that need swaying? Everyone loves me. <laughs> it's... Uh, uh, other than the Iron Islands, there's no one to really sway, is there? None at all. I think who we could sway, even the fat one here. Even he is, uh... He likes us, and I think he's the head of the faith, right? If I go in here. Yeah, he's the head of the seven. So even he likes us. One thing I will do... I don't think we can, if we create a new faith, it's it's way too expensive. We're probably never going to do that. And, and I don't think we should create a new religion either. I think we should stick to the ones that already exist. Greetings, my handsome liege. I hereby invite you to a feast at my court in Blackstripe Keep. It will be a grand affair worthy of your honorable presence. Where's this? Oh, right next to me. 
Nice. Oh, it's right there. Of course it is. <laughs> there we go. Uh, it will be my pleasure. Let's go to a feast. We're going to travel to a, a neighboring castle and hopefully have some good food. Every guest is gathered in the great hall and our gracious host, Lord Roland, has welcomed us to the feast. This better be worth my time. I think it will be. Who else is here? Not many people. Not many people showed up to this feast at all. The feast is dwindling down and I find myself deep in conversation with my devious vassal, Lord Howard. He inquires about my opinion on sword practice, a subject he deeply is interested in himself. It's a subject that fascinates me as well. There we go, he gained some opinion. And we made a friend. There we go. Uh, everyone loves us uh, and our rule. After extensive conversation over our delicate dishes, Lord Howard expresses that he finds me most learned and wise, and that my utterances are always of inestimable worth to those less well-read than I. He recognizes true intellect, I see. There we go. Uh, gaining a friend. We can imprison criminals. Ah, you want a position on my council. Oh, you're very good at diplomacy. However, that position's already taken by my son. What a feast! I shall remember the day spent in Lord Roland's halls for a long time to come. Now it is time to wash off the traces of merriment and wine and once more resume my duties as Lord of the Realm. Farewell, my vassal. Oh, Lyanna, you have been so brave, so strong. Words cannot describe my love for you. And now we have a perfect daughter. Oh, another daughter, no son. Oh dear. Uh, what should we call you? Uh, a good High Valyrian name. Let's see. We'll, we'll, we'll click a few times. Vesera. Or oh, Vesera sounds cool. I like that. Uh, may you grow to be strong and wise, my daughter. Uh, what we're also going to do. Oh, look at that. Pretty and quick. Let's go ahead and pin you just so I can get your education when the time comes. That's all looking good. How's Aegon doing? Is he enjoying his time as a ruler of Dragonstone? Uh, things seem to be going well. Yeah, he needs to get uh, Princess Rhaenys pregnant here, though. He needs a son. <laughs> Preferably sooner rather than later. Your King's Guard, Tristopher, spends much of his time that isn't at your side in your courtyard. Sweat running from his brow as he crosses swords with the greatest warriors in the realm. Tristopher has become familiar face to your armourers and the master at arms, and word of his deafness with a blade has become the talk of the court. It is nothing unusual for him as he has garnered a reputation as a skilled blade master. Perhaps you can help me with my sword play, Christopher. Oh, very nice. Yes. Uh, my king's guard are doing incredible things for us. Uh, very, very nice. My wound was healed. There we go. We've lost the trait wounded, so we're no longer uh, beat up there. We still do have the cancer, though, of course. And I just noticed Elena has her education, uh, her childhood trait as well. Stewardship and learning. Let's go ahead and let's give you a focus in stewardship. And then we'll, we'll find someone good for my brother's daughter here. In fact, uh, I think I'm the best option here. Why not? Uh, I will send that proposal off. Uh, things should be good. Now, I should ideally... No, let's wait. Maybe I will have a son. Or maybe he will have a son. And then things will be all fine there. Can I change your contract? I don't think so. I don't think you're a direct vassal of mine. Okay, we're just going to ignore that pop-up for now then. What I may do, just because we don't really need to sway anyone right now. I could... I could... Where is it? Oh, I can't seduce. Because you're already my soulmate. I could sway. I need spies. In fact, Lord Varys here. Can I recruit you as a spy? I want to see how this works. Yeah, he will accept. I'm going to recruit him as a spy and then see what this whole spy thing is about. I'm not quite sure what it does. Varys has joined the ranks uh, for your sprawling spy network. Is there a menu for this somewhere? Not quite sure. Maybe it's just a roll here. I don't really know what it means. Oh, that's a, a little bit laggy there for some reason. <laughs> not quite sure what's happening. Can imprison criminals? Yeah, uh, I'm not quite sure how the spy thing works or if it actually does anything. Uh, we can develop our capital. Let's go ahead and do that then. There we go. We gained diligent planning for five years. Uh, so we gained some more development growth as well. The Red Keep is going to be very formidable soon. I mean, 22 development already. Things are improving. And our courtier has got some traits as well. With Queen Leanna's diligent administration of my household's finances, there is more gold at the end of this season than expected. How should we pull it to best use, husband? Let's see. 
Invest the money in the local area. The control would change by plus 10% plus development growth is nice. Or well, let's save it for now. We could get the 300 gold now. But the development growth as well for 10 years is very good. Let's invest the money in the local area and get that development up. Task aborted. Stannis of the Storelands can no longer continue with increased control in the county. Is the red keep at max control? It might be. Let's just quickly check that for a moment. We, we, we do have maximum control in the red keep now. Okay, that's nice. Uh, in that case... I'm going to put you back on to train commanders. There we go. My lord, I was able to fetch a secret Eric tries to protect. I will hand you the evidence I found, but only if my service is rewarded fairly. Eric is my maester. I need to know everything. <laughs> uh, he has a lover. Okay. Do we really care about this, though? Wait. You're, you're Gregor Clegane's lover? <laughs> what is this law? <laughs> Gregor has a thing for my maester. <laughs> what? That's... <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting this. Um, interesting. Now, of course, this would be very, very sinful in the, in the eyes of the Seven... But as we know, uh, marrying brother to sister is also very sinful in the eyes of the Seven. So am I willing to let this go? The problem is, I did punish one of my other King's Guard for pulling his love above his duties. And so this might fall into the same, same category. He is by far my, my best King's Guard though. 48 prowess. Dare I cause a problem with Gregor? I mean, if he wanted to, he could probably cut me in half with a single swing of his sword. I think for now, we're going to leave that. Now, you guys leave a comment what you think we should do about that one, because I'm open to other opinions. Uh, I can see reason for exposing and reasons for not exposing. Trade port has been constructed in King's Landing. Let's go ahead and build something else then. We, we can upgrade it again, actually. Yeah, let's keep on upgrading the trade port because that way we, we can really pump the development up uh, and we're going to be very rich. I mean, we already are. 19.8 gold per month is very nice. Knight slightly improved. Prowess and gained a trait formidable fighter. Ooh, very nice. So that's Theo, uh, another member of my King's Guard there. My lord, I was able to fetch a secret Gregor tries to protect. Wait, haven't you already told me this one? I mean, I'll give you the 10 gold. Wait, he's a, he's a sodomite? Wait, game. Stop, I'm trying to read stuff. This character engages in sexual intercourse with other men. I mean, we already know that. Varys? <laughs> Varys is uh, trying to get more gold for basically the same secret. Christopher gained legendary blade master. Very nice. Why, why are we still swaying you? I don't think we need to be doing that. I mean, you're already at 100 opinion. So let's just... Stop that. What's happened there? Okay, it's gone. There we go. Uh, my best friend, Miles, approaches me with a big smile on his face. My dearest friend, we finally see each other. I feel like we'd never spend any quality time together lately. Maybe you'd be willing to try something new with me. I know just the thing to distract your mind. Restore your body and lift your spirits. There is a famous wandering minstrel in town. Why don't we go watch a performance? I'm sure it will be good. I mean, we're solitary, so it doesn't... Um, it doesn't sound that appealing. I mean, he is my best friend, so maybe I make the sacrifice here. We get a health boost. We gain some stress gain reduction. Uh, of course, I should give it a try for you, my best friend. Uh, Miles has been a, a loyal friend to me up until now, so I think that's fair. Did we do Elena's education? I think we did. That's all good. We can get another learning perk. Increased development in county efficiency plus 20%. Let's do that one. Uh, that's very nice. Maybe I should have got that one a little bit early. I just wanted to make sure we had that health boost though. We still do have the cancer. <laughs> oh dear. A critical penalty to, the, to our health and we're still um, outliving it. At first I thought they were mere idiosyncrasies. But it is clear one of the many servants at court has been furtively signalling me. 
I approach him with my guards at a quiet moment and he whispers conspiratorially. What with these long words? <laughs> Great king, my name is Amon. We overhear much while waiting on your guests. They hardly even notice our presence. I look at him doubtfully, wondering whether I really want to hear what he says next. He returns the look, clearly unsure whether he is making a mistake. At last he swallows, my lord. Lord Aelin, your ignorant vassal, has intimate relations with Minor behind the closed doors of your castle. I swear it of the seven who are one as my witness. Really? Yeah, but I mean, he's single, though. <laughs> it, it, his wife's dead. It's not that big of a deal. Um, what else have you heard? I mean, we could give them 150 gold, and then they report to me directly. Yes. Uh, take this, you will report to me only. There we go, we've got some more spies as well. And of course we have Varys as uh, my actual spy in our spy network too, which is very fitting. Uh, I can't think of a better man than Varys here. In fact, if we go ahead and sort, uh, by, sort by intrigue, yeah, Varys is the, the best in the realm here. The Liberty Faction has disbanded, okay. Looks like there's not going to be any war anytime soon, but... <laughs> oh, what's this? Lost... Oh, okay, that's good. We're losing negative uh, traits here. Tawny of Dragonstone. You are hereby invited to a grand tawny at Dragonstone. My son invites me to his own tournament. The list shall tremble. <laughs> We're going to show our son how it's done. Hopefully, we can win this tournament. Uh, I don't think we've won one yet, have we? I don't believe so. When at last I reach the tawny grounds, I spare a moment to take in the sights and sounds. It seems that all and sundry of the realm's nobility have come, their pennants and banners fluttering in the breeze, their shields and heraldry proudly displayed. There is glory to be won here. The blast of a trumpet proclaims the imminent start of the qualification round. I spur my mount towards the lists. For glory! My master of whisperers has come to me with grave news, but we do not yet, knew, yet know who. Someone is plotting to kill my prisoner, Aaron. Ah, there, go for it. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, you're solving a, a problem for me. We must stop the villain behind us. No, we really don't have to. Let them kill him. <laughs> uh, my courage and training have seen me through the preliminary rounds, and I take my place among the most puissant warriors of the realm. The roar of the crowd thunders in my ears, and I can barely hear the trumpets heralding the start of the final rounds. Um, we could watch every joust with a keen eye. Maybe we see some big characters here also at the tournament. Oh, who's this? Look at his armor. I thought he was uh, uh, a very important character. House Galenkis. I don't think I've ever heard of that. Now, it looks like he could definitely win a battle. I mean, he has the armor for it. Whether he has the skill, he has the skill as well. And here we go, our first big battle against Lord Hubbard the Fallish here. Uh, let's see if we can come out on top. Uh, the excitement is palpable. Hopefully, we can become victor. My mount holds steady, my aim is true, and I hammer my opponent with the tip of my lance. The crowd roars and I bathe in a torrent of exultation. My opponent teeters in his saddle, squeezing onto his mount as for dear life. Fall, you fool! No man alive could have withstood, withstood my blow, and I glory in the sight of my foe tumbling into the dirt. In this moment, I feel half a god with just one smooth push off my lance. I've uh, unseated him. I think we could win this tournament, you know. Maybe people are scared to pull a hand on the king. Victory is mine. King Rhaegar has prevailed against Lord Hubbard and will advance to the next round. It was a thrilling tilt. The Herald announces the next tilt. King Rhaegar. And Master Halion take their places in the tilt. The roar of the crowd is tinged with excitement, anticipation, and an unmistakable touch of bloodlust. Look at that. He, he is possessed. Uh, we have... I, I'm sure it must take into account some of these stats, right? To decide who wins. I'm not sure. I think we should put some money on ourselves. The excitement will be even more palpable with a coin or two on the line. Let's go ahead and put 150 gold on ourselves, and hopefully we can become the victor. My mount holds steady, my aim is true and I hammer my opponent with the tip of my lance. The crowd roars and I bathe in a torrent of exultation. My opponent teeters in his saddle, squeezing onto his mount as for dear life. Fool, you fool! And there we go. Uh, victory is mine and we gain some gold as well. 266 gold. So about 100 profit there which is very nice
Here we go then, we have yet another match before us. I think we should bet some more gold. Let's go ahead and put 150 gold on ourselves. I think we can win. Oh dear. Who's thunder down the list when I take aim at my opponent? But I am slower to the mark. The weight of a mountain slams into my chest, shattering my vision into a thousand fragmentary shards. This is not ideal. Uh, yeah, you could say that. <laughs> Summoning every ounce of will and training I have at my disposal, I manage to stay in my saddle. I shake the stars from my vision, catch my breath, and wheel my horse around for another tilt. This isn't over yet. Oh no, he's hit me again. Have we lost? Oh, we're, we're, we're turning around for a third charge. <laughs> oh, this could be a, a comeback. Oh, <laughs> no, we failed. Oh, uh, is it broken? No. Wait, is this the fifth charge? In a display of determination and prowess, I cannot help but admire my opponent manages to remain a horse. I wheel my mount around and dig in spurs for another tilt. I think this is our sixth charge. This could be one of the the greatest tournament jousts in the history of the Seven Kingdoms. Victory will be mine, though. Let's try it again. Uh, it looks like we hit our opponent here. Uh, a victory is mine. Wow. It took a total of six charges. In the end, though, we do win our gold. Uh, that was a, a formidable joust there. Oh, look at that. Now we're against Hagon Galenkis. We did uh, point out his armor, of course. Dare I bet some gold on myself? I think I'm going to do it. I'm, I need to believe in myself here. Oh, what's this? My master of whisperers has come to me with grave news. It is Uron, the sword of Lord Paramount Quellen of the Iron Islands that is plotting against my prisoner, Aaron. You're a great joy as well. <laughs> That's fine. You guys go ahead. You knock yourself out. Uh, the loathsome fiend. That's fine. Uh, can we win this, this battle as well? Victory is mine. There we go, it was a, a very thrilling tilt. We've won the tournament. One after another, I vanquished every opponent put before me. My confidence growing with every victory until it, uh, at last no more foes remain. My name is on the lips of every man, woman and child, and I know that it would not be soon forgotten. Which is better? The thrill of victory, the renowned one for my house, or the glint of the treasure awarded to the champion? It matters not, all three are mine. 50 gold! 250 prestige we get tournament winner for five years uh, and there we go we gain opinion of our son as well a glorious day a glorious day indeed but sadly that's where we're gonna have to leave things there so uh, we have won the tournament <laughs> <laughs> that was absolutely amazing. Uh, but other than that, uh, quite a peaceful episode. We've got plenty of children being pumped out here. Uh, my brother Viserys, he has a child of his own now. Hopefully he can get another one. Does Aegon have a child yet? He has two. He had a, a second daughter here. Uh, Genera Targaryen. There we go. Uh, so he's got a, a second child as well. We're not getting many sons, however, are we? But that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching as always. And I'll see you next time.